so, uh, to explain, we just got yeeted into World 2. <laughs> and I don't even mean figuratively, but like literally, we just got yeeted into the next world. <laughs> uh, no hub screen or anything, just we're in it. So this is Cupid, introduced I want to say in Kirby and the Maze of Mirror. This is uh, the stupidest power-up in the game right here. Um, this is metal, which makes you walk extremely painfully slowly, uh, and it lets you kind of roll down slopes if you get a power-up for it, but otherwise it's kind of useless, so we're not going to use it except for the two instances where it's mandatory, <laughs> because it's just not- it's a worse version of stone, which unfortunately is not in this game because metal replaces it. And they very quickly figured out, you know what, let's not ever bring metal back ever again. <laughs> Always go right. This is something I've memorized as you go right there uh, to get to the first treasure chest. Don't ask me how I know this. This is bubble. It turns enemies into bubbles, which you can use to combine power-ups. So yeah, you can just hoard items and powers. So this game's difficulty curve is non-existent. It's literally like the most broken Kirby game ever. Uh, but again, that's why I feel like it's very beginner friendly. So we have two stars, so we can just spit it out. There are dragons in Fallout 76. Excuse me? <laughs> I mean, like, I know Skyrim exists, but uh, I did not expect that from Fallout. I also didn't know... Actually... I was gonna guess a Deathclaw, but I guess close enough. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta fight a dragon in Fallout 76. So yeah, we didn't fight Spinny again, we just skipped him. Mistimed it, which means we might get a death in the next uh, level because I have a very small amount of health for where I'd like to be, so uh, hopefully this doesn't end too badly. This game isn't difficult, but I do die because I, I'm pretty reckless. I play this game more recklessly than any Kirby game because of how pretty straightforward it is. So we got Cutter. Uh, he doesn't have Final Cutter, which is the move recognizable from Super Smash Bros. So uh, we just toss it. We don't have a melee. It comes back starting with Superstar Ultra. I feel like I just know too much about Kirby for my own good. Because I, I feel like I shouldn't know as much as I do. <laughs> it's like, why do I have this weird knowledge of Kirby power-ups. But yeah, as I was saying, I've been playing really long games recently, so that's why I don't mind this game being so short. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the stream, we're just in World 2, uh, trying not to die. Spoiler, I probably will die at least a few times. Also, I don't remember this at all. Okay, I know. I remember now. <laughs> Never mind, but hello! I think I know where to go. Futaba's having an interesting day, I'll, I'll say that much. Um... I mean, if you. I guess if you're watching three live streams, at least it means your internet is working? More like just sending a million employees. for some reason that no one can figure out. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Because I am super turned around for some reason. Guess through here, probably. Yeah. If 
finally trying to stream consistently, and it'll probably last a week before I stop streaming again, <laughs> if the pattern holds. So Spark replaces Plasma. Spoiler, it's not as good as Plasma, but it's still pretty good. I'm actually going to defeat him because I, I really need health. So when he's stunned like this, he drops items when you damage him. So it's a good way to recover some health. Except I took damage in the process. So it didn't actually benefit me that much. There we go, a little bit in better shape than we were. I'm guessing there will still be a fourth employee. <laughs> Just a weird gut feeling that a fourth employee is gonna show up and be like, Hey, here to fix your cable. <laughs> Alright, so we are now... Um... Yeah, Squeak Squad. <laughs> it's like the one that made me actually like Kirby that wasn't Air Ride. Because <laughs> what the Kirby game I immediately fell in love with was, was Air Ride. And then I was like, I should play an actual Kirby game at some point. So I played Squeak Squad, and then played Superstar shortly after, and was like, wow, this game's way better. <laughs> but this game I can beat in two hours, so that's why I'm streaming it. <laughs> People always make fun of me for, like, starting games and not finishing them on stream. So, like, this is why I've been playing Sonic games, this is why I've been playing Kirby, because it's something I can 100% of the time finish in, like, one stream. No problem. I remember getting a DS for Nintendogs. Like, I'm not even kidding, I wanted a DS for Nintendogs. If you mean the enemy, the mini-boss we just annihilated. <laughs> I'd love to stream Amazing Mirror, but I'd also want to brush up on it first, because I've only played it, like, once. Well, uh, don't worry, the little animal mini-boss does come back. It's not permanently dead. Yeah, like, okay, like, I was talking about this a little bit earlier, I'm just using power-ups. I got animals, so I'm gonna toss it, I guess. Don't need another one. Um, I was saying earlier, it's like, I don't think this is the best Kirby game. But it's the one I can consistently just kind of jump into and have a fun time with, because of just how chill it is. It's like, Superstar is a little bit more involved, <laughs> so as much as I like Superstar and as much as I love Planet Robobot, uh, I think Squeak Squad is kind of a nostalgic favorite just because of just how relaxing it is. So my full Kirby history as we go to fight Doc, I guess. I might have missed a treasure chest now that I'm thinking about it. Um, is I basically played Al. I basically played um, Air Ride in like 2006 or something, or no earlier, 2004. And I played the heck out of Air Ride. Um, then I went into an edgy phase where I was like, Kirby Air Ride is boring. I'm just gonna play Mario Kart. So I sold it, which was like my biggest gaming regret, actually, because Air Ride is so expensive nowadays. <laughs> um, so in 2006, that holiday, I got a uh, Squeak Squad. Uh, played the heck out of it. Uh, loved it. And then after that, I played Amazing Mirror and Canvas Curse, which were very different. Uh, enjoyed both. I think I enjoyed Amazing Mirror more, just because I got a little frustrated with, um, with Canvas Curse at parts. Good ideas, kind of wonky execution, uh, and oddly enough, the execution got even wonkier, I think, for, um,
Uh, and the, it got a little bit wonkier for Rainbow Curse, which actually made me a little sad because I felt there was room to really improve it, but I feel like Rainbow Curse was kind of a step down from Canvas Curse. How the heck did I miss this treasure chest, by the way? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you want me to be blunt. Oh yeah, I guess replaying this level, we get to see this guy again. Multiplayer focused? Uh, no. <laughs> the Super Smash Bros. count? Oh. Basically, no. I. Hmm. Air Ride and, like, okay, uh, what's it called? Amazing Mirror? That one's very multiplayer focused, but it's local multiplayer focused. Uh, and you can also play it single player. So, uh, there's... Star Allies also falls into the trap of kind of requiring a single player to be more fun, or... Because, frankly, trying to co-op play with real people has pros and cons. Almost every Kirby game is single player, though. Um, it's like Amazing Mirror is playable single player. I just don't know. It's one of those where your mileage may vary because you're on, you're you're having to rely on your teammates that are AI. Uh, I really want an HD remaster or remake of Amazing Mirror with like full Wi-Fi uh, because I love the concept of it. I just feel like. As a kid who never had four fr IRL friends, I, I would have kind of liked more options. Like, if it ever came to Switch, I would like actively try to get a, a posse together and try to actually 100% Amazing Mirror. Because I do love the game, it's just kind of. I think it'd be more fun with people. Uh, Squeak Squad. <laughs> That'd be my guess. My recommendation would be Squeak Squad, Amazing... Uh, no, not Amazing Mirror. Uh, Squeak Squad, Nightmare in Dreamland, maybe Star Allies? Uh, though you won't get a lot of references, but it's still a fairly easy game. But like, my only two that I would say don't start- okay, three that I would say don't start with are... Dreamland 2, because I know you like to 100% games, so Dreamland 2, 64, and... Dreamland 3 are all kind of complicated to 100%. Not hard, but just kind of complicated. I like how I outran the boulder and still went the other way, <laughs> completely negating the point. 